Hello there, welcome to another video of SurfGet. In this video, we'll take a quick look about iOS Portal Refresh Animation in Table View or Collection View. It's very simple and easy. Let's get into it. First of all, what do I have here is I have a simple and static table view with some data to populate over there, like a, a list of array with the phone models. And I do have the delegates and data source method in order to populate those data. So I just made a simple static uh, table view in order to make our refresh. All right. So what I need, what uh, I'm trying to do over here is uh, after populating this data, when I try to pull over here, I need to refresh all the data which is in my table view. And also I need to put a animation which is having the progress indicator on the top of the screen. So that's what I'm trying to do over here. In order to do that, what I'm trying to do over here is uh, I'm trying. I will bring UI refresh control, which is provided by Apple itself. So, first of all, what you need to do over here is I'm going to declare a var variable, which is for the initialization of this uh, UI refresh control. So let's name it as uh, refresh control equal to UI refresh control and inside my view did load or what I'm uh, going to do over here is uh, I'm going to add a target for this refresh so that uh, this Xcode will know when it's need to initiate so in order to do that uh, let's state that refresh control dot uh, add target uh, which is having the action uh, which means uh, add uh, target and uh, it'll be of uh, self kind and the selector I need to put over here is uh, selector and uh, let uh, before that UI control method which I'm going to do over here is uh, let's make it as a valid changed or whatever so first uh, let's try for UI control dot uh, events dot uh, valid change which means the whenever the value inside our array changes and uh, finally uh, I need to do one more step over here is uh, uh, let's make this table view in order to table view uh, dot add some view and I need to bring this refresh control inside that and you need to make a separate function to add a, the object uh, for in order to make the action so what I'm going to do is uh, add rate object to jc and it will be a function to handle the action so let's say refresh and this will be off kind uh, center with the UI refresh control And uh, before going to this, let's name the selector with the refresh. And inside this, what I'm going to bring over here is the action which you need to do. For example, like if you have a API method which is having the data, you can uh, bring a recall them in order to bring the new fresh data. So let's make the dispatch method first of all. So that, let's say uh, dispatch queue. Uh, dot main dot asynchronous and inside this what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to bring the self dot uh, table view dot uh, reload data and uh, one more step I need to do is uh, self dot refresh control dot uh, end refreshing and one more step you need we can add over here is in this case what I tried with this is uh, just a static with a checklist array so if you have an API method what you need to do over here is uh, let's say for example uh, phone control dot uh, some method like a cons phone control dot fetch uh, all phone models So something like this, uh, you may be having implemented a method uh, before calling this table view. So you can bring that over that step over here, and then later on you can make this table view with a reload. And finally, the refresh control will be having the end refresh. So let's run and check uh, what uh, we have done.
here we go I have the table view with the data which is uh, implemented over there if I try to pull over here you see there the animation which is having the activity indicator to progress and uh, that will be refreshing all the table data inside that so that uh, if any future uh, further data is added after the uh, insertion of this table view it will fetch all the data again and it will refresh and the table will be reloaded again so it's very easy and simple you can implement it in just two minutes so that's all in this video thank you for watching i will come up with more ios videos in upcoming so stay tuned and subscribe my channel thank you very much thank you lads